Good evening. It's good to be back at Timaqua again. Uh, always, always a great occasion. Tremendous music, fabulous artists. And I've been privileged to perform and have my music performed here numerous times, and I love this place. And thank you, Benoit and family. It's a really amazing thing. Uh, the geometry of smoke. I usually have like great stories to tell about music, but this one doesn't really have a story. It's more of a it's more of a set of principles. What I was thinking, um, what I was thinking was about the mathematical relationships and equations and of nature, and not the kind of geometry in school with triangles and octagons and curves, but the more nonlinear living biological patterns that if you look close enough under a microscope or you just look around you in life, you will see these shapes. Lots of, uh, uh, the one uh, concept that I really like is the one of anamorphic symmetry. And everybody goes, what's that? You know, it's like, well, if you hold your hand up like this, and then I had a five-year-old hold his hand up like that, the shape is the same, but the proportions are different. So it's, uh, they're symmetrical, but they're not symmetrical on the same scale. And you find that a lot in nature. You find, you know, how a branch resembles a tree, you know, and as you go down in the structures, you find these repetitive uh, patterns. And I always thought that was the most beautiful thing. This is not a new concept. Other co uh, composers have, have explored this. Uh, uh, I love, uh, I love Bartok. Bartok was hugely into, uh, you know, the biological world. He collected insects. He was, uh, and, fa and so much of his music has this sort of uh, unbelievable order and symmetry, but then in this very amorphous way, you know, it's not square or triangular, and it, it, and it grows organically. So I guess this piece was my uh, attempt at to sort of approach this organic, um, relationships of shapes and mirror imagings and different scales. And um, I got into a saxophone quartet and then it sort of started sounding sort of private eye, sort of noir, you know, too. So, uh, and um, I, it was funny because I, I had just finished writing a big orchestra piece that was uh, performed today, as a matter of fact. It was premiered today in Vero Beach. Um, and I had finished and I go, well, what am I gonna do now? So. I said, you know, what kind of self-respecting saxophone player, which I am, has never written a saxophone quartet ever in his entire life? I said, this is the day. <laughs> so I, I started working on this piece and it started evolving and I got to the end and it was finally finished and Vanessa was going crazy hearing this <laughs> thing over and over again in the office, you know. And, and so I said, well, now I gotta get a plate and who am I gonna call? And I, so I sent George a message. And he said, we just happened to be doing a concert. <laughs> Send it to me and let me listen to it. So uh, he liked it. And I appreciate so much you guys performing it and uh, later recording it. Uh, what a privilege. I'm amazed. Um, so this is a very new piece. This is just a few weeks old. You know? So um, and it's hot off the presses. And these guys learned it. And uh, uh, enjoy it. I'll shut up now and listen to some music. Thank you.
This project was made possible by our season sponsors, Orange County, United Arts, the State of Florida, and ACS. Our wonderful board members, we thank our donors and members, as well as our business sponsors. Please thank them for their support for Timucua. <laughs>